YouTubers! Welcome to the Mike Martins channel where we actually predict here and we don't post-dict and good good job to all the heroes out there warning people about the housing market now. Where were you a year, two, three, four, even heck, even nine years ago warning people that things aren't right to keep your eyes open. Check your total debt service ratio. Make sure you're making the right decisions. We don't post-dict here. We actually predict. We get, we get almost no views, but that's okay because we got a bit of history. So I'm getting a lot of emails from Australia. Do not buy anything. This is actually a little bit longer than a year ago. It's been it's been like 15 months ago, but that's okay. And I'm still getting emails from this video. People email me. Do not buy New Zealand, UK. I've done it for every single country in the Commonwealth. And this is all, again, all way before COVID. And been warning people in Australia for many, many, this is actually longer than two years. I don't know why. It's showing three years ago. I haven't lived there in five years in this place. So brain drain, Vancouver, Sydney, mass exodus. And he, and on the on this channel, and on this channel, we actually predict, we don't post dict. Lots of post dictions out there. Good job for them. Now, let's get into what's happening now. What's unraveling? Well, here it is, guys. Struggling borrowers, borrowers will need to consider selling, says ANZ. So this is from the Sydney Morning Herald. So it's a good fake news uh, source. Um, what do I mean? State-run media or government state-run bailed-out media from the local governments or taxpayer media, if you want to call that. So here it is, guys. One of ANZ's bank's most senior bankers says some borrowers who are unable to meet their mortgage payments will need to consider selling their properties in the coming months, warning it would not make sense to continue acquiring interest. Australian banks have allowed about 10% of all mortgages to be deferred in in response to the pan, to the pandemic uh, and this week this week lenders said some borrowers could have up to 10 months without making payments if needed if an interview on Friday ANZ group executive of retail and commercial banking uh, predicted oh predicted oh more customers with the furrow loans would resume making payments in weeks ahead uh, notwithstanding a further rise in deferrals in Victoria. So now, if you guys have been living under a rock, the state of Victoria in Australia is in a complete shutdown. I mean, you can't even go five miles out of your own radius. I mean, it's really tough to buy more than two days' worth of groceries there. The entire state. Melbourne, three million people. It's a tough, tough nut to crack, especially uh, when it, these bizarre, puzzling numbers don't add up. Yeah. Anyways, that's for Mike in the Night. That's that... that Puzzling numbers are for Mike in the Night Saturday Night Live show. Don't forget to sign up and set your reminders and call into the show. We're getting a lot of new callers in. Anyways, so let me tell you what's going to happen. People are going to have a tough time to sell, especially with capital flows in China going to zero. And people in China, especially on their social credit score, are being uh, – a lot of people are being unable to leave their country. Uh, so because of the social credit score, they're just going to strike you down and not make you get on a plane if you live in China. And capital flows – the, the Chinese government uh, has saved the Commonwealth because it stopped capital flows because the Commonwealth has been binging off wealthy investors. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK, and parts of Ireland and Scotland got affected where the local people in those areas can't even afford to, to, to rent. Never mind buy, rent. So that's what's happening there. And now what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be an oversupply on the market now that they're announcing people to go ahead and yeah, go ahead and sell your properties. Uh, if you can't afford it, I think it's a good idea. Rents are going to go up because the price of properties uh, are going to be on the market for sale. Rents are going to go up. You're going to start to see bidding wars on rent. But I already made a video about that two years ago where there's bidding wars on rentals where people are going to download an application and start bidding on rental and how much they could bid up. They don't care if you qualify, they just want your money. And that's how it works. So what's, what else is gonna happen? Well, lots of things are gonna happen. The Air, Airbnb is, gonna, is falling flat on its face with all these shutdowns. And Australia is making a very good example to the rest of the Commonwealth, how things are to come to the United States, to, well, parts of the United States. I would see, I see Seattle, sorry, Washington State, Oregon, California, New York doing this. Uh, but I don't see other parts of the states kind of floating towards this. Um, it's going to be very interesting in the next two, uh, the next quarter. Never mind two quarters, three quarters, the next year. And the next quarter, uh, the year is running down. It's an election year in the States. 
all this crap, and I could bet you, hand to God, that that if o Obama or somebody else was president of the United States, this um, COVID thing would have been nipped in the butt at the at its borders, and and there would have been another Nobel Peace Prize awarded to Obama if he was president. But because it's an election year and they're trying to do whatever they can to shake things up, it's it's affecting the whole world. And this is becoming a major issue to everyone. Uh, so now, people are going to be uh, homeless. The Kiwi build in New Zealand was an absolute disaster. Phil Typhoid promised they were going to build 100,000 homes. They ended up building 18 homes. Um, and that program in Australia where the government was going to start buying up homes and then re-renting re them out or reissuing them to uh, average wage earners never took off. There's a lot of things that never took off. And builders aren't building homes for average wage earners anymore. And average wage earners are what make up 97% of the middle class. Now, if the average wage earners can't get into housing, you're going to see a huge debacle. First, you'll see an oversupply on the market in the next quarter. Once that oversupply... Oh, I did a video. It's called The Cliff. Um, uh, I think it was a gentleman there. Martin North made a video, and I kind of talked about what he was saying. Uh, something... Yeah, you were here. Australians uh, about to fall off a $7 billion cliff, and that was supposed to happen in the month of September. So that's a couple of weeks away from now. So I kind of threw that out there too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. Uh, support this transmission. If you're if you're sick and tired of post dictors and people not, I'm getting emails every day. I feel blessed. I wake up in the morning. I got 46 emails in my thing, and people are saying, "Hey, Mike, you helped me, man. I left I left the city of Toronto like two years ago because I, I saw what you were saying, and I'm so glad I'm out of there right now." People saying, "Yeah, Mike, I left San Francisco. Um, I was getting so tired of this whole." Um, crazy utopia mess that we have there uh somebody else messaged me the other day that they left um uh, S uh sydney and they moved into the into into some farmstead like in the middle of nowhere in australia off of one of the major highways where an, a second uncle lives and they're helping on growing or working crops and cattle and like weird stuff but people are getting out and, and getting back to roots that's the important thing guys what are you guys gonna do what are you guys going to do? Look at this. China set to buy up the world. And then there's one here. Why I've been wrong about the housing crash. And I'll tell you why I was wrong. Because I did not know for many years that the government's, what the government's plan was. First time home buyers loan, interest only mortgages, all kinds of Mickey Mousing, 100% loan to value mortgages. That's all garbage. That's designed to destroy you and destroy everybody. And that's what's happening. Um... Like, if you look in Canada, Canadian real estate debt passed 76% of GDP. Now, if you look at the news today, I don't know if you guys looked at Apple. If you invest in Apple, Apple's worth over $2 billion. A company, a corporation is worth more than Australia, Canada, uh, 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 Australia, Canada's GDP. Not put together, but it, Apple's bigger than the GDP of Australia and Canada and New Zealand and the probably, I don't know about the UK, but that's, that's, that's a lot, you know, to say, you know, so... Anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Um, yeah, and you're going to see a lot of this too, rent evictions. You're going to see that too. That's going to be coming soon. This is, this is, these are all videos on my channel, guys. I've been talking about this. Do not buy anything a year ago. And for the people that are actually emailing me and sending me messages about, about this on a regular basis, keep sending them. I really appreciate it. Um... um it means a lot to me that you guys are actually taking the time. And yeah, Sydney Brain Drain. Look at that. That's actually longer than three years ago because I haven't, I haven't lived there. That's in Vancouver. I haven't been in Vancouver like in five years now. So something's – I don't know why they're holding back or the, the timestamp on the videos don't make any sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please, I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know. So now banks are telling people that maybe they should start selling or consider selling. A lot of people will sell, and they'll be selling at a loss, and they're going to have to carry this debt burden around with them for as long as they walk this. They're they're destined to walk the earth with this debt. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thanks for watching. Big hug. Lots of love.